Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm Dr. Emilia Bertolo, and I'm a principal lecturer in chemistry at Canterbury Christ Church University in the section of Natural and Applied Sciences. And today we're going to be doing an experiment on Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. This experiment is not dangerous, however it's a bit messy, so we're going to be doing this in our garden. Because the experiment is definitely very messy, we, Daniel is using um, an apron and he's also going to be wearing his uh, safety glasses. And Daniel, any message for children watching this video? Yes. When, if you do this experiment, only do this with an adult. To make our non-Newtonian fluid, we are going to need corn flour and water. Uh, we also have a couple of measuring cups and a mixing bowl. We've got a spoon here, although you might find when you start mixing the corn flour and the water, it's easier to do it with your hands. And finally, uh, we've got a container to pour our non-Newtonian fluid once we've made it. Daniel, uh, to make the non-Newtonian fluid, uh, we're going to add a couple of cups of corn flour and a couple of uh, cups of water uh, in the bowl and start mixing. Okay. And then depending on the consistency, we will add either more water or more corn flour. So it's not too thick and it's not too liquid. So? Okay. Very good. Now you can add the water. And start mixing. You can start with a spoon, although you might find after a while it becomes easier to, to mix with, the, with your hands. But let's see how it goes. Make sure that all the flour and the water are well mixed. You get that one, it's on that corner, yes. Okay, how does it feel? Does it, it with a spoon or, or with the hands? Can you, is um, it very liquid? There's still a few part, bits of corn flour in mm -hmm. it. Try mixing it with your hands and I will add. It feels rather liquidy. Okay, I will add a bit more corn flour. I think it's working because it it's harder to mix quickly. Mm hmm But then let me try. Move your hands a moment. Sorry. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more uh, a little bit more corn flour, but we're almost there. Let's see what happens. Okay, let me try. Uh huh. I think you've got the right consistency. Uh huh. Good. Lift your hands. Uh huh. Excellent. So I think we've got it. Let's go and change it to this container.
and we can check the properties. Daniel, we have three containers here. This one has water, the one in the middle has some honey, and the last one has the non-Newtonian fluid you have just made. And you've got a hammer, can you put in the shot? Yes. So I'm going to ask you to heat first the water slowly and see how it feels, and then quickly, and see how it behaves. It behaves normally. What do you mean normally? Is it easy to go through? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about if you did, oh, yes, it does a splash. Easy to go through. Yes, it goes. What if I try with the sharp end? Try with the sharp end. The same. Uh-huh. Yeah. Still so, the same with the bit less splash. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try your hammer a little bit, and now try with the, try with the honey. So first slowly. Yeah, this, it's just normal. It goes through, yes. yes. Goes through. It's more sticky than the water, but it behaves the same in the Quickly, same way. It still goes through. Mm -hmm. Now with the sharp end. Yes. It goes through. It goes through. Still goes through. Both water and honey behave like you would expect from a liquid. Um, so try with the with the non-Newtonian fluid. First slowly. It goes through. It goes through. Now quickly. Okay, it didn't penetrate. Uh huh. So yep. what about the sharp end? Yeah. It goes through. Yeah. If you apply a force slowly, it behaves like a liquid. But when you apply a strong force and very quickly, you notice that it behaves like a solid. It 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 shows resistance against you hitting it with a hammer. So is this? A non-Newtonian fluid? That's because it's a non-Newtonian fluid. In this video, we are playing with a property of uh, liquids and gases called viscosity. Viscosity measures the resistance of a liquid or a gas to flowing. You have liquids like, for example, water, which has a very low viscosity and it flows really well. And you have liquids like uh, honey, which is more viscous and although it still flows, uh, it does it more slowly. Both water and uh, most types of honey are examples of what we call Newtonian fluids. It means that they follow Newton's law of viscosity, which uh, says that viscosity changes with temperature. It's not easy to see with water, but uh, if you think of honey, uh, honey at room temperature is quite sticky it flows very slowly, but if you warm up warm honey, uh, hot honey, it's, it flows much more easily. So the viscosity has, uh, has uh, lower when you increase the temperature. The mixture of cornstarch and flour, on the other hand, is an example of a non-Newtonian fluid. So the viscosity of our cornstarch and water mixture is not affected by temperature, but by applying a force. And we saw how when a stress was applied, when a strong force was applied, don't, um, it behave almost like a solid. Another example of a well-known non-Newtonian fluid is ketchup. So ketchup normally is quite, uh, is quite viscous. So Daniel, if you try to pour some ketchup in the container, and it's difficult to pour. However, if you give it a good shake, The stress you have applied make it make it much easier to to flow. 
We hope you have enjoyed today's video and we hope you have lots of fun playing with non-Newtonian fluids. Thank you very much to Daniel for his help. See you all next time. Bye!